And now here comes Dick Hutcherson into the pit area. Dick, uh, with that low uh, right front end, has a bad tire there in a 66 Ford. And they're going to get it off very quickly. And boy, that's hot to handle, believe me. In fact, you can blister your hand very quickly. Look at that tire, just absolutely shredded. They do have an inner lining, by the way, on many of these tires, a safety lining that they can ride on. But we haven't had too much. Uh oh, look at this. Car number 71, Earl Bomber, was impaled up on the guardrail, and they just do get by him. Wow, he came within a couple of feet of going over. The yellow flag is out. There's debris and shrapnel all over the uh, track down there. And Bomber climbs out through the window. He's okay. Boy, he came awfully close into going over that embankment. And you can see that long strip of the guardrail that's been torn right off right here in the press box area. Roger, could you see that from where you were down there? Roger, come on in. Roger Ward. Well, Bill, now we have had a very serious accident, primarily due, of course, to uh, an engine blowing, going into the first turn, another car getting into that oil, and, of course, bumping into that guardrail and tearing a great deal of that guardrail down. So we're going to be on the yellow flag for quite a while. Okay, Roger, and our sheet metal experts will get their rivet guns out now and try to repair that 150 feet of fence that was torn down, and we'll be back with more of this Southern 500 from Darlington, South Carolina, in just a moment. The track officials have now decided to take off that top half of the guardrail. They can't repair it in time, and it would be a long, costly delay, so uh, they're going to just uh, let the race go on. The flag is still out, and here's Earl Bomber's car. Now, we had a camera over in the press box, and here's what it looked like as they, he impaled himself and stripped off that guardrail for about 170 feet and came, as you can see, so very, very close. But look at Lorenzen, just zigzagging around him. There is some great driving and some quick reaction by Freddie Lorenzen to get out of uh, what could have been a lot of trouble. Now let's go down to Chris Economaki and Earl Bomber. <laughs> 